from new murals that serve as connectors to proposed arts and cultural districts that would help bring visitors and investments, let's explore the growth of public art around Stamford, Norwalk, Bridgeport, and Fairfield. In Norwalk, a new mural is underway along West Avenue. Back in August, the Common Council approved a $210,000 budget for the mural, which will be called Welcome to Norwalk. The mural design focuses on the natural world in the city, including a humpback whale, the harbor seal, oysters, and more. The goals of the mural, according to city officials, include helping connect the South Norwalk and Norwalk Center neighborhoods, providing a better welcome to those entering the city, and creating a more comfortable walking environment. Still, some residents and council members question the theme of the mural, asking what makes it intrinsically Norwalk. In Stamford, the Board of Representatives and the Board of Finance recently allocated funding, including grants from the National Endowment of the Arts, the Connecticut Department of Transportation, and the Stamford Downtown Special Services District for a mural at the new parking garage at the train station. Leah Kagan, the city's Director of Economic Development, told the Board of Finance back in August that the point of the mural was to give people a sense of pride in Stamford. In Bridgeport, the Color It In Public Art Program has brought public art around its downtown to help enliven some of the public spaces. The initiative started through the Downtown Services District, but has now grown to include other portions of the city due to its success and popularity. Meanwhile, both Fairfield and Norwalk have applied to the state to designate areas as arts and cultural districts, opening up new opportunities for grant funding and additional marketing efforts in those areas. In Fairfield, the representative town meeting, along with the Board of Selectmen, unanimously supported the designation for the section of town that runs along Post Road around the Fairfield train station and town hall area. In Norwalk, the city also applied for an arts and cultural district designation for South Norwalk, West Avenue, and Wall Street. Both municipalities said they hope the designation will help them better market and support their arts and cultural landmarks. Reporting for Coastal Connecticut Times, I'm Kelly Prince.